All right, what is going on guys? Hope you're all doing well. So today's video, it's a requested video from a subscriber and it's how to work, you know, soft baits, swim baits, stuff like that for pike. Um, and yeah, it's a pretty interesting topic. It's not something I've really thought about to be fair, but yeah, I think a lot of people could do with some, you know, inspiration on how to fish the soft baits and stuff. Because you see a lot of people just casting them out, winding them in. And in my opinion, that's not the best way to catch the pike on them. You know, you catch a lot more pike putting action in yourself and really working the lure because, you know, it does work itself to some extent, but you've got to work it as well. So, 80 centimeter coffee perch, what I'm using today, pretty nice, you know, all around size. A lot of people use this size baits. So that's why I thought it'd be, you know, a good one. I don't want to just show with the massive ones and that. Um, so yeah, hard to explain, but you've got to, once you've been fishing a while, you can kind of feel by the conditions on how to work a lure and you kind of feel what will work best. But as a beginner, the best advice I can give is just mix it up as much as you can. Don't just turn up, cast it out, wind it in, cast it out, wind it in. Or even if you are mixing it up, you know, don't do the same pause times and stuff like that. Um, it's really essential to, you know, present this bait uniquely, um, present it in your own way. I mean, I, my fishing style is very aggressive. Um, an aggressive fishing style, you know, you catch a lot of fish, you tend to catch smaller fish, but that's kind of what I want to catch for my YouTube channel. You know, if you, if you want to catch just bigger fish, You'll catch less, but fish less aggressive sort of thing. So, yeah, I'm going to show you guys, hopefully, anyway, it's a bit windy and awkward, but I'm going to hopefully show you guys how I retrieve lures. So, got my heavy set up. It's, it's not really a heavy lure, this one, but... So, first off, how most people will fish. We'll cast to the other side of the river, bed it in, they'll let it sink if it's deep or whatever, and then they'll just wind it back like this. And... You will catch fish doing this, but you're not really giving those fish a reason to hit that bait if you're just winding it back straight. You're gonna, you know, fish, they're opportunist. They're gonna want, and that, they're gonna want a moment presenting to them where it's ideal for them to hit the lure. So a pause, speed it up and then a pause. Um, you know, make it feel like that fish is going to get away, so they just instinctively go, go for it. But, yeah, like I say, straight retrieves, you'll catch fish. If you just want to catch bigger fish, that's the better way to go. Um, straight retrieves with just a couple of pauses. But, you know, general fishing, if you just want to get out and fish, I just miss, mix it up so much. So, a typical cast, a quick wind, a slow wind, quick wind, half wind, half wind, half wind, pause. Another couple of half winds, another quick wind, and just mix. This this is literally how I fish most of the time. Just mixing it up so much, it's not the same retrieve all the way through. You know, it's it's aggressive, but pike are aggressive creatures. We're giving them the opportunities to strike the bait. We're presenting it in a way where the bait seems frightened or injured. And that's really what you want to want to be achieving, really. You, you want to make the bait seem like an easy opportunity for the pike. Even though I'm moving it faster than if I was just doing this, you know, a fish that's just swimming like this is probably a perfectly healthy fish. It's probably, you know, if it senses the pike coming, just scarf her off. If a fish is already at it, acting erratically, you know, the pike sees that as an easy target. I do put pauses in as well which is always important. I know a lot of people pause the jerk baits and stuff. A lot of people don't pause the soft baits, but you know, even if I'm fishing quick, pauses like that is, it's generally where the fish strike to be fair. So yeah, fish it aggressive. You can actually work soft baits with the tip of your rod as well. Um, it's not something I see a lot of people doing, but I do it quite a bit to be fair. Just, just literally, as a jerk bait, work work the soft bait, and you know it doesn't jerk side to side, but it, it gives it such a good erratic action and yeah drives the pike wild. It's uh, yeah, it's, it, you can't I can't really explain it without showing it to you, 
on the bank um, but yeah it, it gives the soft bit a really nice shimmer like this and you get the pauses and yeah pushes more water when you when you when you're jerking fishing aggressive you know especially a flat nose bait like this it pushes a lot of water when you got the rattles in your rattles go crazy your tail goes crazy and it really draws those fish in so yeah that's kind of how i fish like i say there's a bunch of ways you can do it you can more of a bigger fish retrieve slow retrieve big pauses slow retrieve big pause slow retrieve big pause so that's a way to fish you can fish normally just a slow retrieve and then a big fast and then a pause and that that can really create a reaction strike quite a lot of fish doing that just quick wind and then pause you can do half lines which make which make the the bait sort of wave like this half line half line half line pause half line half line half line pause it's all the same as jerking the rod tip but it gives it such a cool action um and makes it just look very very erratic which you know give, makes it look like an easy target for the pike so yeah i mean it's a very personal thing it's it's how you enjoy fishing it's how you want to fish and that's the main thing fish how you want but in terms of catching more fish don't just fish at the same retrieve speed speed it up slow it down add some pauses add some twitches and you will catch more fish i promise you that if the fish are there anyway if you fish somewhere where there's no pike you won't you are catching it <laughs> but if you fish somewhere where there's pike mix it up do something different to what everyone else does and yeah you'll catch more fish so we're gonna get fishing now i'm gonna keep this same bait on and keep my camera pointing low at the reel so hopefully you can see what i'm doing when i'm working the bait but yeah hopefully we catch some fish anyway see what happens <coughs> holy crap it's crystal clear that's so weird it's normally really really coloured up at this time here this place but today it's crystal clear so bizarre we've not really had much rain this year so it's yeah, messed everything up to be fair That's a fish. Oh, it's tiny, but it's a fish. <laughs> yes, that slammed into it then. I think it's inhaled, inhaled the whole bait. Pretty much. <laughs> Man, I this guy. Had the bait's out of his mouth anyway. And there we go. Not even sure what retrieve I was doing then, but that slammed it so hard then. That's kind of like the average size you get out of this place. Um, not a brilliant size fish, but it's the first one. Oh, okay, guys. First fish of the session. Absolute monster. 18 centimeter coffee perch. I'm not even sure what retrieve I was doing with that, to be fair. But uh, that hit is so hard. Proper, like, little slack liner then. So, yeah, hopefully they're fired up today. Like I said, this is like a one pound. A one pounder. But, yeah, we'll get it back. See if we can get another one now. But, first fish landed beauty that was pretty easy so hooks out big bait for a uh for one pounder but get his guy back hopefully find another one there he goes look how clear the water is though got a bit of grass stuck to him still sorry about that mr pike hopefully i'll rub that off in a minute but yeah this is normally like mud brown till close season and yeah it's crystal clear today uh, hopefully we can see the retrieve in the video because i wasn't even paying any attention and it hit pretty quick um so i don't know if it was on a pause or anything like that but yeah that's the first fish anyway got the ancient coffee perch what we always use 
nailed it that one green pumpkin chartreuse this color yeah not like the most common color but contrast baits can really do well when other stuff's not working so it's always worth having one in your box to uh, try out so yeah see if we can get another pike now hopefully a bit bigger than that one but i'll take anything to be fair first fish big heavy slam on the bait that one then cast to that far side you know so that guy will have been sat there with his face sticking out quick line i think it was then a pause and then smack a little slack liner Whew. Fortunately, that's kind of like the average size you get out of here. Um, there is better fish, but because they've stopped dredging this place, the yeah, not enough food for them, or it's harder for them to find food. So the be bigger fish are in decline a bit, but there is still a few. That was a better fish then. Oh man, that was a better fish. Hit it super hard again. That I don't know how that got off, it pulled the rig off and everything. Just not back treble. <coughs> man, I think that took on a pause then, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, it wasn't big, but it was better than that first one, that's for sure. Nice that there's a few active fish though. Not too long after that last fish to be fair. Really quick, aggressive hit. Quite an aggressive retrieve, I think. I'm pretty sure that was a pause. We'll, I'll have a look in the footage after, but yeah, nice to get another hit there. Well, hooked it, but popped off the little bugger. Yes, right on the edge. Fishing that super aggressive then. That might be a little better than that last one, maybe not. Yeah, it's slightly better, I think. Barely hooked though. Barely hooked. Hey, buddy. Put up a nice little fight for himself. Oh, yeah, that was right under that weed. Proper aggressive little strike. Come here, baby. Leader touch, it counts, it counts, and it's gone. <laughs> so, yeah, good job. I got that leader touch. Okay, that was pack number two. Didn't get to show them to you guys. Um, probably should have just netted that to be fair, but yeah, I didn't want to get all tangled in my net like the last one. But yeah, fish number two. Very aggressive little strike in the edge, that one. Get some nice cuts on this bait now, so yeah. Two fish landed and missed one in 30 minutes. That's pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. <sighs> Alright guys, that is going to do it for this video. My camera's just about to run out of battery, so yeah, we're going to call it there. Two part landed, one lost, but the goal was just to show you how I work the lure, so hopefully we've managed to do that. Hopefully you guys picked up some new uh, tips and stuff like that. Hopefully, you know, get some more pike on the bank for you. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, usual everything that i've used is going to be in the description and um yeah catch you guys in the next video